Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 70. That is, can you explain defect life cycle? Let me answer. There are different defect tracking tools available in the market. Different defect tracking tools follow different defect life cycles. That means Jira defect tracking tool has its own defect life cycle, whereas Zoho defect tracking tool has its own defect life cycle. There is no common defect life cycle for all the defect tracking tools available in the market. Every tool has its own defect life cycle. That's what is the problem. For example, here you see this is the Zoho defect tracking tool. Okay, in this, if you report a defect, what are the different states available here? Open state is there. Then after that, we have in progress to be tested, closed, and also on the top of closed, we have reopened. Okay, four to five states are there in this Zoho bug tracking tool. But if you go for, if you go for, if you Google search for Jira defect lifecycle, you'll get this uh, in the search results, guys. As you can see here, many states are there. Okay, in Zoho defect tracking tool, there are four to five states. But in Jira defect tracking, okay, in G Jira defect lifecycle, we have more states. Here, four or five are not there. You see, new is there, assigned is there, fixed is there, reopened, rejected, deferred, duplicate. Verified close, many states are there. That means different defect tracking tools follow different defect life cycles. That's the problem. So, if you get this particular question in the interview, can you explain defect life cycle? You have to mention this point that different defect tracking tools follow different defect life cycles. For example, Jira follows a different defect life cycle, Zoho tool follows a different defect life cycle. But I am going to answer this question with a common defect life cycle, okay? That most of the defect tracking tools uh, uh, follow, okay? I'm, so you have to mention that in the interview, guys. Okay, whenever you get this question in the interview, you have to mention that I'm going to answer or explain about a defect life cycle, which is commonly followed by most of the defect tracking tools, either it may be Zoho or Jira or whatever it is, most of the defect tracking tools available in the market follow this particular defect life cycle. You have to mention and then explain then the interviewer will understand what you are trying to mention. Okay, you'll know that uh, you know the answer because of that statement. Now, you after after mentioning this point, guys, then start explaining about this uh, defect life cycle, which can be followed by most of the defect tracking tools available in the market. So you everyone will understand this uh, states, different states. You see in this diagram, all these orange color boxes are the different states of the defect. Okay, so all the states of the defects form. A defect life cycle so it's not it doesn't belong to any any one of the defect tracking tools in the market guys this diagram doesn't belong to a single defect tracking tool in the market it is applicable for most of the defect tracking tools available in the market okay so let's start explaining that so here as you can see these activity blue color things are the activities that are done by the tester and because of these activities what will be the status of the defect that is there in the orange color okay so throughout this diagram the same process is followed so you see when a tester finds a defect okay you see when a tester finds a defect the state of the defect will be in new state okay the initial state of the defect will be in new state for example here if i take you to this application okay and uh, take you to this uh, register page so here there is a telephone field number this telephone field number should accept only numerical values but what if i am entering some alphabets and trying to click on continue so let's see what will happen in this case okay so what is happening in this case let's see when i enter alphabets instead of numbers and click on continue what's happening guys you see the warning message is not coming for telephone that means telephone field is accepting this alphabets this particular telephone field is accepting the alphabets instead it should not uh, accept the alphabets it has to give a message saying that invalid telephone number message should come so this is a defect Let's say if I have identified this defect as a software tester, when I report a defect here into any of the defect tracking tools, so commonly the status of the defect will be what? New state, okay? The state of the defect, the immediately when once a tester reports it into a defect tracking tool, the state of the defect will be new state. That's the first state. After that, dev project manager comes into picture, guys, okay? After you have reported a defect, a dev project manager will come into the scene where the dev project manager will check whether this is a valid defect or not okay is this a valid defect or not dev project manager will check so is it a valid defect 
Yes, it is a valid defect, right? So if you enter alphabet, cell phone number should not accept. Instead, a warning message should come. This is not coming. So it is a valid defect. If the dev project manager believes that it is a valid defect, okay, then he'll go with the next check. But what if if it is a not a valid defect? In, in case if the defect reported by the tester is not a valid defect, in that case, dev project manager will select the rejected state. Okay, if it is a valid defect, no problem. Another check will be done by the dev project manager. But if it is not a valid defect, in that case, the status of the defect will change from new state to the rejected state. Okay, dev project manager will reject the defect, and status of the defect will get changed to the rejected state. Otherwise, if it is a valid defect, another check will be done whether this particular defect is already reported the defect tracking tool or not. Okay, you or your colleagues have already reported this defect earlier in the same defect tracking tool or not will be checked as part of this. Is this an existing duplicate uh, existing defect that is it's a duplicate defect? The dev project manager will check is this a new defect or is it really a new defect or this defect is already reported earlier? That will be checked. If it is not reported, then no problem. Next check will be done. But if it is already reported, but again the tester has reported it for a second time, then definitely dev project dev project manager will change the status of the defect from new state to if it is a valid defect, but it's already reported. Why you are reporting again? So dev project manager has changed the status from new to duplicate. It is a he will change the status of the defect to duplicate status. And also there is one more check guys. Okay, if it is a valid defect, if it is not reported already in that case, another check is done by the dev project manager. That is, can we can we delay this defect fixing to the next releases or not? Okay, do we have to fix this defect before this release or can we postpone the fix of this particular defect? Why the dev project manager thinks about postponing of the fixing of the defect? Because there may be a situation where all the developers in the project are already busy. Okay, they are occupied with a lot of work. And if some kind of defect comes, which is not that much important to be fixed right away, maybe the dev project manager to just to uh, decrease the load on the developers who are constantly working the project. So what the dev project manager will do is, okay, he will make a decision, he or she will make a decision to delay the fixing of the defect by changing the status of the defect from new state to deferred state. In that case, status of the defect will change from new state to deferred state. If the defect need to be fixed, can be fixed later. Okay, it can be postponed. Fixing of the defect can be postponed if the dev project manager believes the status of the defect will change from new state to the deferred state, guys. Okay, there's another one. Now, guys, there may be a situation where the defect is valid, defect is uh, not already reported, it's not a duplicate defect. Okay, and defect has to be immediately fixed, uh, it cannot be delayed. Okay, before this release, we have to fix the defect. In that case, dev project manager will finally change the status of the defect to new to assigned state okay the status of the defect will change from new state to the assigned state so in assigned state okay in uh, assigned state means it got assigned to one of the developer guys okay status of the defect is assigned means the dev project manager has assigned this particular defect reported by the tester to a particular developer okay so the developer who has who, who for whom this particular defect has been assigned okay what the developer will do when the developer start working on this or start fixing this particular defect, developer will change the, the particular uh, developer for whom the defect has been assigned by the dev project manager. That particular developer will change the status of the defect from assigned state to open state. Okay, the status of the defect will change from assigned to open state. So open means the defect developer is actually fixing the defect, started fixing the defect. Okay, fixing of the defect is in progress, then open state of the defect. Let's say while fixing the defect, let's say the developer has uh, completed fixing the defect, okay, properly fixed the defect, he believes. In that case, developer will change the status, okay, once the, completion, once the fixing of the defect is completed, the status of the defect will change from open state to fixed state by the particular developer who feels that the this particular defect got fixed, fixing of the defect got completed. So it will be, status of the defect will be changed from open state to the fixed state, fine. So before starting fixing the defect, it is in assigned state. After that, while the developer has started fixing, it is changed to open state. And once the developer has completed fixing, the status of the defect has been changed from open to fixed by the developer itself. Fine. Once the, uh, once the status has, is uh, shown as fixed, the defect tracking tool, then testers will come into picture. 
okay tester will come into picture and the tester will perform retesting of this particular defect in the proposed version where the fix really happened for this particular defect okay so there are two possibilities here the this particular defect may either have been really fixed in that case if it is really fixed as part of retesting the tester found that developer has properly fixed the defect in that case the uh, tester will change the status of the defect from fixed state to the closed state okay if the defect is really fixed by the developer in that case tester will change the status of the defect from fixed state to the closed state okay because it is a pass right retesting has passed and status of the defect has been changed from fixed to closed state okay uh, defect is closed now kind of okay or else if the defect is not really fixed or partially fixed okay if the defect is not uh, fixed as stated by the developer or if the defect is partially fixed some portion is working some portion is not working in that case either not fixed or partially fixed in that case the tester will fail the okay the retesting will fail and tester will change the status of the defect from fixed state to again open state so that developer has to again fix it right this is what happens and there's one more case guys what happens is you see in one of the case if the tester feels that the defect that is stated as uh, fixed by developer is really fixed the status of the defect will be changed by the tester from fixed state to the closed state but after few days of closing the defect again in the application if the same defect is coming the same defect is coming then the tester should not should not report the defect again okay already defect is there and it is closed now the defect is coming again means you should not open you should not uh, report a new defect okay already defect is there again you are reporting a new defect that is not correct guys rather whatever the defect that he, that the tester has closed earlier which is coming again the tester has to change the status of the defect from closed state to open state okay tester should not report new defect instead the earlier old the old and earlier closed defect has to be opened again so the status of the defect can change from closed to open this will this activity will be done by the tester if the tester finds that the earlier closed defect is uh, again coming in that case closed state of the defect will be changed to open state and developer has to fix it and again once fixed developer will change it to fixed state then tester has to retest and if it is really work fixed now again the tester has to close the process continues so guys these are the different states in the defect life cycle okay so and there is one more thing guys before i wind up I, I explained you all the different activities of the tester, pro, dev project manager, and the developer here while changing the states of the defect as part of the defect life cycle. But you see, there is one thing like a, to check whether dev project manager to check whether this is a valid defect or not. There are several things. Okay, some cases uh, the defect is not a valid one. Okay, for example, is as per the design. For example, someone says that uh, there should not be forgotten password link here. Okay. A new tester came into the team and uh, he doesn't know what is forgotten password let's assume and uh, that, that particular tester has reported defect saying that some link is coming okay which is not required here email address password and login are enough why forgotten password some link is coming uh, it is unnecessary kind of thing if a tester reports but it's not correct right it's as per the design generally all the login pages will have the forgotten password so in that case it is as per the design so in such cases since the particular Defect reported by the tester is as per the design, is as per the functionality of the application. The dev project manager will reject the defect saying that it is as per the design. Okay. It's correct only in simple words. In some cases, what happens is the tester has reported the defect. The tester has reported the defect, but in the defect, but while the dev project manager is trying to replicate the same defect that you have that the tester has reported. By following the same steps written by the developer and uh, tester and all, if the dev project manager is unable to reproduce the defect, if the defect is not coming at the dev project manager side, simply dev project manager will write down saying that rejected the defect as the defect is not coming my side, hence re hence not reproducible. Like that, another reason for rejecting the defect by the dev project manager is if the defect is not reproducible, then also dev project manager will reject the defect. And in some cases, guys. The tester has reported the defect, but tester has not provided enough information for the dev project manager to understand the defect. Okay, in that case, dev project manager to request to ask the tester to uh, provide all the complete details. Dev project manager again will reject the defect with the reason as need more information. Provide more information so that I can understand the defect well. So that is another reason for rejection, guys. And uh, there are some situations where 
So testers will think that uh, the functionality, okay, suddenly they will come across some functionality and they think that that is a defect, but ultimately that is an enhancement, okay? The old functionality has been upgraded to the latest format, okay? So for example, here, e email address and password are displayed in the same page. If you go to Google guys, okay? Google or Amazon or some kind of places, right? First, uh, they'll not show you the password field. First, once, once you enter the email address, then only in the next screen, password will be coming. So assume that there is a tester who doesn't know about this and uh, the tester has reported defect saying that, okay, password field is not coming, okay? Earlier it was used to be there in the login page. Now password, uh, password field is coming in the next page or something if that uh, tester has reported. In that case, that uh, dev project manager, what he, what he or she will do is, okay, uh, dev project manager will again reject the defect saying that it is an enhancement. Now it is decided to display the password field in the next page, okay, rather than the same page where email address field is available, okay. So there are different reject reasons that dev project manager can uh, provide while rejecting the defect, okay. So these are the different states of the defect in the defect lifecycle and this is what is the defect lifecycle, guys. If you can explain this diagram well, that is nothing but the defect lifecycle, which is applicable for most of the defect tracking tools available in the market. It's a common defect life cycle, which can be applicable for most of the defect tracking tools available in the market. So, so this is what guys, okay, this is what. So fine. So with this guys, hope you got the answer for, can you explain defect life cycle? So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.